Well, hello guys, welcome back. So I wanted to make you a video. I swear to the gods we're retired, but since you guys seem to be enjoying these squad spousing videos, and I don't like that term, but it's a term everyone uses, which is the only reason I use it. You have when you have a divine spouse or partner, or however you term it. Oh lord, what do you do when it's stormy and you fight and you're breaking up all the time and you hate each other? Um People who watch the channel know that Odin and I are very stormy together. Um, you know, he will yell things at me and I will yell things at him. And I swear he will be trying to put death curses on me and I'll be trying to do stuff to him. And I swear a couple of times he's actually tried to kill me. I'm not rightly sure and I get mm, back here. So what do you do when it's really fiery? Um honestly write it out the best you can that's been my TED talk but seriously though um we're both very fiery and we're both very driven we're both very passionate and we both like to yell a lot <laughs> i he had come back in last night and he was settling in and then i got mad at him because i, I i'm a mutt so i have three kinds of tempers italian german polish Good luck, because the 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 pole will sometimes forgive and then get mad about it later. The Italian gets mad really fast, and then it's over, and the German just sits there and thinks for a while. And so he's got that kind of fiery temperament to deal with, and you know he has one too. He's he's a loose cannon a lot of the times, and he will. He will get really decide he's really stubborn. He's stubborn as the day is long. He will decide his place is beside me. And, you know, he doesn't care how many times he has left and came back. His his place is beside me and, you know, basically his statue is back here and his statue is around. And, you know, got like a little tiny starter temple. It, he had all these temples, but like one went to Freyr and everything and I don't know. He's being Odin, so he's being contrary about which temple he wants or not. But, you know, um, you sometimes are very fiery together, and you both might like to shout. You both might like to argue. I think with Odin and I, we like to argue. Like, it's kind of fun to us, so we're not doing it to be mean. But it's, we take it too far, and then we both are resentful, and we both hold grudges, and we both plot revenge. And, you know, it's kind of hard to have two people like that together, because everybody wants this ideal marriage, and it's so fun, so spiritual, especially if you're married to a god. And if I could, I would throw things at him. And, you know, I, I, I warned him before we got married. I was like, do you know how many times I've had spiritual marriages? They th That I have that many means one of two things. Either I fall in love very easily or it doesn't last very long. Take your pick. And, you know, I I used to be even angrier. He got the calm down version. I used to get so mad with one particular spouse. I used to take my ring off and throw it at their head. <laughs> and tell them where to go. <laughs> I'm quite the prize, aren't I? And, you know, Odin is, you know, just the same way. He um he attacked my answering machine today because he had wanted back in. You know, I tell these stories, I get lost. He wanted back in, I wasn't letting him in, and I it was something very important. So he's like, ha ha, get your answering machine, I'll show you. And after I, I yelled at poor Loki, but the answering machine started to scream like a fax machine, but this high, unbelievable note that sounded like it was about to blow up. I knew it was Odin the moment he did it. <laughs> it's just so bad. <laughs> but, you know, seriously, though, um, what they did this time is the other gods actually kept us apart for the extended period of time because they thought it would fix us. They thought, well, if they're apart long enough, they'll realize how much they love each other and they'll come back together and they'll play nice. We haven't been back together for a whole day yet. We're <laughs> yelling at each other. It's just, it's just how some people communicate, you know. Um, I think what, what kind of makes it a little more turbulent is that there are gods that are a lot quieter around and they're like, how can you two yell those horrible things at each other? And he's like, well, I'm not particularly offended. And I'm like, yeah, neither am I. And, you know, I think to... You know, the other gods are always like, you have to, like, let your, your guard down and be nicer to each other. 
We will do that, but, you know, at our own given speed. We're just, you know, we're not, we have tried all lovey-dovey, cute, and, you know, all, all sweet and nice with each other. And he's side-eyeing me, and I'm side-eyeing him, like, this just isn't us. This just isn't us. And I think it's how you have to, you know, you have to look at it realistically. Sometimes some relationships are stormy. They are fiery. There's a lot of passion. and you're together because you're very attracted to each other, but you are very passionate and you go at each other hammer and tongs sometimes and you're, you know, yelling at each other and he's thinking about death curses and I'm yelling at him and he's yelling something at me. But then, you know, uh, once the fight is over, you're, you're getting over it. One thing I learned with Loki, because he's very passionate and fiery too, is learn that, you know, we made an agreement early, no hits below the belt, and, you know, not physical hits, but, you know, verbal sparring, and don't take it personally. And we could say whatever we wanted, no matter how mean and nasty it was, and don't take it personally. Um, and that way we can say absolutely dreadful things to each other, and we know the other one is just venting, and that they need to vent, and it's like we're trapped in this tiny island together. So, of course, we're going to yell at each other. I'm looking at his fox to see if it's going to come on, but as of yet, no. And that's sometimes maybe what you have to do. You know, agree with your spouse. Like, boy, you seem to yell at each other for a lot. Loki and I realized we fight a lot, too, that we had to agree that when we were going to fight, it wasn't going to be personal. The other person could say whatever they wanted, be as nasty as they want to be, but we couldn't take it personally. And then, you know, it was like magic. We we are fine. He will say absolutely dreadful things to me that would have a lot of people, I think, curled up in a ball. And I will say terrible things to him that, unfortunately, other gods have heard me and never spoken to me again. And, you know, he's fine. And he's like, mm, okay. Um, and then we talk about what we're really angry about. So that is one thing. Once you guys have screamed at each other and yelled profanities at each other and everything else, Talk about what you're really angry about. Talk about what it really is. What is the fight actually really about? It's probably not even about what you're yelling about. It almost never is. Um, and even if it is, talk about it. Like, maybe you don't like it when you... They do X, Y, or Z. Why don't you like it? Does it hurt your feelings? Does it make you jealous? Does it make you feel neglected? Does it make you feel pushed around? You know... Talk about it. Talk about your feelings. Don't just shout your feelings at each other. And Loki and I are, um, are pretty good at, you know, we talk a lot more now. It's funny, I have the calmer relationship with Loki. You would think it would be with Odin, but Odin and I just do this all the time. He he yells at me that I'm a crazy woman. No one will want me. And he leaves. <laughs> and then he's back. And, and I look at him and he's just looking at the ground like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, nobody wanted you, huh? Because <laughs> he complains in, like, some of the lore about, you know, humans don't want him, and he was wandering around and, you know, looking inside homes, and people won't let him in. I'm like, yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> and we're off to the races again. Um, I We actually love it. We do love each other. At the end of the day, he has my back. I have his. We both have bad habits the other doesn't like. He makes what I call Odin promises. He whimsically promises you something sometimes, at least with me, that never manifests, like, you know, money to go buy video games. <laughs> For example, that's what today's promise was. It never came true. And, you know, um, I've told him, I said, I know you do it to be whimsical, and I get the idea when you're doing it, you're having fun and you're being lighthearted, but at the end of the day, when it doesn't manifest, you like it's like you sucker punched me. So just so you know, even if I seem like I'm playing along at the end of the day, I'm a Gemini. I vote you know, many different ways about something all at once. And I said, I will really feel hurt when that doesn't manifest. I'll really feel disappointed. It's like, you keep promising me Christmas and Christmas never comes. And he's like, cool. And I said, you please have to stop doing that. I said, I believe you could do it. So when you promise something like that and it doesn't happen, it really, really hurts me. And he's like, cool. And so, you know, we had to talk about that today. We actually talked about that. And I said, there you go again, you know. 
And Loki too. Loki, Loki's pretty good about it. Loki will try. Loki will try and fall in his face. At least if Loki promises something and it didn't work out, I know he tried and fell in his face. And it's like it's okay, buddy. You tried. Odin, it's it's I I don't know. Maybe he tries and falls on his face too. I don't rightly know, but you know, um, it is okay to fight. It is okay to have that stormy relationship. Just make sure that you, you know, another thing is to have a third party, have a god that, like, really doesn't care, doesn't, you know, probably privately thinks you shouldn't be together, but is willing to listen and isn't going to take sides. So they're really impartial. They're not going to take the side of the god. They're not going to take your side. Um, we will go to whatever god seems to be feeling pretty impartial. <laughs> and, you know, even Thor with his temper will be listening to us yell at each other and be like, you two need to calm down. You kicked a dwarf into a fire. What are you yelling at me for? I'm not in this fight. <laughs> you know? it, just, it just gets out of control. The other guys have learned that usually just like Odin and I yell at each other until we're tired of yelling at each other because anybody that comes in to us help usually gets drug into the fight and gets yelled at by both parties. <laughs> and I think that's what it is. Um, we just communicate at a very loud level, in a very passionate level, and I'm getting mm, back here. And, you know, to people outside of it, it looks so mean, it looks like we're being really cruel, but, and I think that was, like, half the problem. The other gods keep trying to fix it, explain it to the other gods, and if they can't understand it, just tell them, hey, when we start fighting, just do this, and go la 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 la, or just... Go tell other gods, this is why we can't have nice things, but please stop interfering. This is how we communicate. Um, if you're both fiery, the worst thing you can do is try to become one of those sweet, nice couples that talks like this. Oh, good morning, darling. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? If you yell at each other in the morning, you yell at each other in the morning. You know if you love each other or not. So it's okay. Just... You know, remember to actually communicate if you really get really mean and you go for the jugular. Um, apologize. And if they do too, they owe you an apology. Um, it's, we both know when we've gone too far and we both will apologize. I know immediately when I've said something that's gone too far and I do apologize and so does he. But, you know, um, if you know you both have a habit of getting resentful and then shutting down like um, we can both do. And ignoring each other, you have to, you do have to work at that and be like, look, let's apologize now and then we can go ignore each other. <laughs> and, you know, and we do that. And I know that sounds weird, but sometimes I will feel like he is shutting down and I'm shutting down too. And I'll say, okay, I am sorry, but let's just both go ignore each other for a while and let's not come out of this ready to fight or have revenge or something. Fine, whatever, still think of stupid dumb and <laughs> he actually doesn't say stuff like that too often. In fact, he never does at all. He he figures other stuff to say. Um, so yeah, you know, it's it's you know, I can't even tell you what we fight about. We just we fight about everything. <laughs> it's like, um it's just like it is. It's okay. Some couples are like that. Anything becomes a fight, you know. Um, some couples just yell at each other. And I know if you see that stuff on YouTube from the 1950s. Um, there is one where they actually show this couple that they're actually really loud like that. They're yelling at each other. But they actually end up being the better couple. Because after they yell and they get it all out, they ear out their feelings, then they apologize. So apologize a lot too. So apologize. Remember to communicate. Remember to talk about why you're actually hurt. It's usually not the thing you're fighting about. It almost never is. And just, you know, do whatever works for you guys. You know, have something to do together, you know, maybe after a fight that, you know, you both like that's a little treat. Whether it's, you know, watching YouTube videos or it's playing music or dancing together or whatever you guys do. Make sure you have it to do and, you know, that way you can be like, okay, let's shake hands and, you know, make up and... Then go from there. So we hope you guys like that one. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.